Hey there, people. My name is Degorian. Welcome back to more Dragon Quest Eight. Um. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. You disgust me. I didn't know you from Adam, but still I took you in, and this is how you repay me. I. I didn't do anything. Please believe me, I, I was just feeding Leopold as normal. What? What did you call him? It's Sir Leopold. Just who do you think you are? What a jerk. Has this imbecile upset you too, Sir Leopold? Of course he has. Such impertinence! No doubt the vile layabouts put poison in your food as well. Please, Master! You must believe me! I would never serve Leopold, Sir Leopold, poison! Why should I believe you? If you want to prove your innocence, you'll have to eat some yourself. Now. While I watch. Not like that. On your hands and knees. And look like you're enjoying it. What a dick. <laughs> That's it. Insults you, David. Well, said Leopold, he seems safe enough. Enjoy your dinner. David, Sir Leopold is as much your master as I am. I shouldn't have to remind you that you treat him with the utmost respect. Understood? Ah, you're back. <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for my servant's unsightly display. So, what are you doing here? If you come to report back, I'll, uh, be waiting in my room. Okay, is there anything in there? No, okay. Nothing behind the fountain. Um, yep, let's go inside. We did get those, uh, gems, whatever they're called. What are you doing? I only came here to buy some weapons. I never thought I'd end up getting a job. I'm looking forward to seeing this girl with... Uh, this girl with the stick that everyone's talking about. Oh, it'll give me a good opportunity to see how sharp my new blade is. Oh, okay, so now they're talking about Jessica. Hello! Brought you the gems. I brought your eyes. Ah, there you are. I hope that little saying before didn't upset you. Is nothing unusual. I don't know why, but just looking at David's face makes my blood boil. Of course, I'd never dream of firing him. I have far too much fun being his master. <laughs> but enough of that. Okay, you jerk. Have you got the jewels? Have you brought me the Cran Spinners? I could say no. <laughs> <laughs> You have! I won't have you bore me with details. I only care about results. Fine, you can have them. Yes. Just holding them in my hands, I can feel the waves of magical energy flowing out of them. Yes, the Cran Spinners making an impenetrable barrier 
will be simplicity itself with these. That wand-wiving bimbo won't stand a chance. And I expect you're feeling rather pleased with yourself. Helping the great Dominico is an honor, is it not? So oh, darn it. Let me reward I was hoping it would say a yes you or no. You may serve me as a god until that meddling girl comes back. I presume you accept this honor. Oh, but it gives me the option here? Mm, fine. Very good. <laughs> From this moment on, you will be my bodyguards. And now... For the first task in your new post. Come this way. Ooh. This leads to my secret library. You will find a book for me in there. The book huh? is called The Big Book of Barriers. It contains a recipe for making a very powerful barrier. Why is... Why do I feel like he's just talking very slowly? Oh my god. So, I am gonna... Also steal all of his crap. Mini metal. At least as much as I can, I'm gonna steal. Magic vestment. And 650 gold. Wow, he had nothing. Old manuscript entitled A History of the Dikonos Family, Volume 1. It seems to have been written by one of Domenico's ancestors. My name is Celtus Dikonos. Uh, I was an apprentice under the great magician Kupas. Kupas was more than just a teacher and master of the magical arts. He was also an extremely wise and intelligent man. <clears throat> One day he said to me, Someday evil will return to this land. And when it does, magical abilities of one of my descendants will identify them as the heir of a great sage. This will place them in terrible danger. Fearing for the safety of his kin, Master Kupas came to a momentous decision. With a potent incantation, he would transfer his great powers to my own family line in an attempt to hide the truth from the world. Once the fateful ritual had been performed and Master Koopa stood bereft of his magical powers, he turned and left without another word. Desperately, I tried to follow him, but he had vanished without a trace, and I never saw his face again. My name is Cletus Dikonos. After Master Koopas transferred his magical powers to me, I cast a special spell over both of our family lines. No matter how many years went by, the spell would ensure that the fates of our two families would be inextricably linked, and that when the time came, our descendants would irresistibly be drawn together. Now I can only hope and pray that the Dikonos family will always watch over and protect the descendants of Master Koopas. Ah, the big book of barriers. So we can take this. So who's the other line? <laughs> Men's voices can be heard outside. It's her, the girl with the scepter. Jessica? What on earth took you so long? Look, I was stealing your shit. That pesky wand waving bimbo is turned up again. I must erect the barrier immediately. Did you find the big book of barriers? I could say no, but that would probably just push me back downstairs. <laughs> uh, we hand the book to yes. him. Yes! Yes! This is it! Now, let me see. Yes, the final barrier. I must begin at once. You, 
Go outside and stall that meddlesome floozy. What wow. are you worrying about? I'll have it done in a flash. Can't you tell a great magician when you see one? Just before you go. Fiery foo and babbling goo. Behold. Yeah, I figured it'd be something like that. Are you fully fit? Now that you're in top form, go and stall that wand-waving menace. Every. Whoops. I was just ready to go. I'm guessing she's outside. It's certainly dark. Where? Uh. Oh, hello. to prepare a stronger defense. Shut up! You won't get past me! I won't let you lay a finger on Master Dominico! Wait. I think David is the... the descendant of the sage. Dominico! <laughs> What's so funny? Such a pity that you should die never knowing about your noble origins. I could tell from the start that absurd show-off was not the one. The scepter is all-knowing. No, I seek the chosen heir of the great sage Coopus, one of the seven who sealed away the Lord of Darkness, Rathorn! Wow, I was right. And that, David, is you. What a pity that the one who should be protecting you is unaware of his responsibility. <laughs> I wonder when you turn up. Five. I knew I'd have to fight you somewhere along the way. Still, I have to admit I'll be a little sad to watch you die. All right, we are fighting Jessica, evil Jessica, nonetheless. Um, I want the zombie slayer because it's a sword and <laughs> probably better. So, what do we do? Psych up, psych up, spells, kabuff. I think I have the hard cheese in my inventory also. Ow. Or kebab once more. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Eighty-five. Youch. Okay. So, I guess <laughs> I'm still gonna have to use the boomerang. But I do want to psych up once more. Um, gosh, I wish I was a little bit higher. Uh, what do we got for items? Anything interesting? No? Cool. Um, I'm just gonna helm split evil Jessica. No. 
Now nah, I'm gonna need to full heal. One damage. No damage. Are these just like normal shadows? What the hell? Eighty two. One. One damage. Are these just normal shadows? Like we saw these saw these a long time ago, didn't we? <laughs> right. Uh, I will use Firebird Throw. These are just shadows. What the hell? <sighs> Yangus. Yangus will heal Angelo while Angelo. Full heals Yangus. Okay. <laughs> the crackle. Twenty nine to Angelo. That's what I like to see. All right. No one was put to sleep. That's what I want to see. Um, so I'm going to start psyching up. Again. Maybe because I just like seeing the big numbers. <laughs> so, this is something that I do remember. Are you kidding me? So yeah, I'm just going to have to keep the... Boomerang equipped. I want to use a sword. Although I could just ignore the shadows. Because they aren't strong at all. What can Angelo do? Uh, well, to be honest, he should probably just chair a barrow. Okay, well, they have more than 54 HP. Ow. Huh. One. One. <laughs> None! <laughs> Psych up once more. And Angelo needs to heal himself. Okay, that's not targeted at Angelo, which is good. 83. Sneeze. Oh god. Good. Whew. Cool breath. Seven, eight, and thirteen. So I'm going to do what's probably considered a controversial move and psych up once more with Tagori. Okay. And Angela will full heal Tagori. Bad. Evil Jessica's defense returns to normal. I don't think. Nah, no one's dying. Although, obviously. <gasps> yes! Super Saiyan! <laughs> and defense returns to normal. That's not good to see. Three eighteen. Nice defense drop. So I'm going to cross cut her throw because she is always the first. Um, 
first person. So Yangus will heal Angelo, and Angelo in turn will full heal Yangus. Oof. Thing for those shoes. <laughs> Ooh, nice dodge. Yangus, kind of need to... Alright, that's pretty good damage. I feel like a mid-heal uh, would do... Angelo just fine. Oh no. If he survives, he's not gonna survive. He's he survived. <laughs> what? Um gonna mid heal. So it recovers at least 75. I kind of need to just full heal myself. Uh, Yangus can continue the assault while Angelo buffs us up. Ah, crap. That's okay, right? Oh! Wow, Tagori wakes up. One turn sleep. Hmm. Yangus is still. Well, okay, well, there it is. I need to see. I can buff us up one more time. I wonder how many times I can layer this. Wait, what? So this is really interesting. I didn't know I... I didn't know there could be more than... Uh three shadows at once. I guess I was just lucky that I was taking them out. Power throw? Eh, let's use Firebird throw. We got mana. <clears throat> uh, I want Angelo to... <sighs> Whatever. I'll just full heal to boy. Probably didn't need to full heal. This is going to take a while. So, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Jessica's getting real lucky with those dodges. Sure. I'll chair a barrow. Just because I don't necessarily need to heal right now. 74 points? 6 MP? That's pretty good. Frizzle. Come, she's gotta be close. 
right? So I mostly want to take care of the shadows because of this breath. Alright, well, that worked. <laughs> I thought this would be over quite a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, I figured the crackle would be coming. Only 30 damage to Angelo. He must have some really good insulation. Four MP there. I guess that's something I should do. Never mind, she's dead. Nine thousand experience, and Angela levels up. Cool. Uh, HP by twelve. He needs it. And this is going in. He becomes a dreamboat and learns Fuddle. So he can confuse people. It, it's not possible! N no human could match the power of the scepter! You won't get away with this! Now you'll see the true power of the scepter! Already it has ended the bloodlines of four of the sages. This town will burn, and every one of you will perish. Get out of the way! Move! Move! <laughs> Just in the nick of time, the barrier is ready. You villainous fiend! Take my life, would you? You'll have to break through my barrier first. Alakazam! Well done. You did a fine job of keeping her at bay until I was ready. I must reward you. You may have the honor of finishing her off. Do you accept? Uh, no. We're not... We're not going what? to. What? Why on earth not? Explain yourself. I mean, look at her. She's fine. <clears throat> so... This gal is a friend of yours. Yeah. And she's been under some kind of curse ever since you defeated the Dual Magus. Oh, hardly a good excuse. But I don't care anymore. 
The girl is yours to do with as you please. Consider it a reward for attempting to protect my life. There won't be any, um, <clears throat> financial reward, of course. <laughs> Did we get gold? I missed Wait. that part. Where's the Leopold? Where's the scepter? He's gone. He must have been scared off by all the disturbance. David, go and find Sir Leopold at once. Y yes, Master. The party carry the unconscious Jessica to the inn. She appears to be having some kind of dream from which she cannot wake up. I heard this story from my great-grandmother. She told me how her own great-grandmother was a renowned sage who came from the western continent to be married. A sage? What do you mean? I didn't really understand at first either. But apparently, even though she was a woman, she was a master of sword fighting and magic. Really? So, maybe that's why you're so good at them too. Maybe it came from her. If only. But I'm not under any illusions. I'm sure there's room for improvement with my sword work. And any real magician would think my magic's just child's play. You think? Well, I can't do either. If you ask me, your magic's amazing. Thanks. But it really isn't. In fact, if you ask me, I wasn't the one who inherited our ancestors' magic. I think it was you, Jessica. I'm sure there are abilities and skills that haven't yet been awakened in you, but one day they will be. And I can't wait to see you when that day comes. Whoa. That armor. That's very traditional armor for... Dragon Quest? Dragon Warrior? Ah! <gasps> She's finally coming too! King Trode! Gov! What... What happened? I feel like I've just woken up from a really long dream. Ah, it looks like you're back with us at last. Don't you remember? You disappeared the day after we defeated Dormagus. Yes, I do remember. But wasn't that all a dream? I was being controlled by a hideous magical force. Just like Dormagus was. It was this huge, terrible, evil, magical being. The Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn. But I found some things out. Listen, I've got so much to tell you. But there's no need to rush. Just take your time and start at the beginning. Yes, Rapthorn was ordering me to do things. He told me to seek out and destroy the heirs of the Seven Sages so his seal would be broken. Rapthorn once terrorized the world. And it was the Seven Sages who managed to seal away his soul. They didn't have the power to destroy him completely. But they shut his soul away in the scepter and sealed it with their mystical blood. Rapthorn's curse seeks to destroy those Sages' heirs. Master Rylas, my brother Alistair, Abbot Francisco, and the man from Baccarat, too. Uh, what was his name? Everyone who's remember. been killed Golding. has been an heir of one of the Seven Sages. Hmm. The plot thickens. Do you mean to say that the reason Medea and I haven't been turned back to normal is also to do with this Rapthorn fellow? I don't know. But there are only three heirs left. David and two others. If the heirs of all Seven Sages are wiped out, Rapthorn's seal will be broken, and he'll escape from the sept- That's it! The scepter! King Trode, where is it? Where's the scepter? <gasps> you mean the royal treasure? 
Come to think of it, I don't know. I lost sight of it in all of the hullabaloo. No. David's in danger. Whoever picks up the scepter will fall under Rapthorn's control. We have to find it. We have to save David. Come on! We must find the scepter before it's too late. Okay. Let's wait. Nope. Yes, ma'am. Um. Yes, we'd like to stay. <laughs> um. And I just looked at the time. So, with that, I. I'm gonna end the episode. I hope you've been enjoying this, and please join me again for another episode of Dragon Quest VIII.